Samantha has also released a tell-all book called The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister, where she portrays Megan in an unflattering light. She accuses her half-sister of being calculating, selfish, and fake. Megan has not publicly responded to any of Samantha's attacks over the years. Palace aides maintain she wants to maintain her dignity and privacy. However, it seems Samantha may have finally gone too far with her most recent comments. According to sources close to the royal family, Samantha recently gave an explosive interview to an American tabloid where she revealed private family secrets about Meghan's upbringing. It's being reported that Samantha shared intimate details about their father Thomas Markle and allegations of abuse within the family when Meghan was a child. This sent shockwaves through the palace as such accusations had never been made public before. However, things took an even more dramatic turn when Samantha is said to have insinuated that Meghan lied about her experience and upbringing in order to gain sympathy and further her relationship with Prince Harry. She allegedly questioned if Meghan was truthful about not having a close relationship with her half-sister or extended family growing up. This was the final straw for the palace, which has tried to distance itself from the ongoing Markle family drama. Sources say the Queen was furious over Samantha's interview and felt she had crossed an indefinable line by publicly speaking about such private family matters and accusing a senior royal of dishonesty. As head of the royal family, the Queen took immediate action to contain the situation and discourage any further tabloid interviews from Samantha or other Markle relatives. In an unprecedented move, it's been revealed that the Queen stripped Meghan of her Duchess of Sussex title with the following statement. After careful consideration, Her Majesty the Queen has decided to remove the title of Duchess of Sussex from Meghan Markle. While the Queen appreciates Meghan's service to the monarchy since joining as a senior working royal in 2018, the ongoing attacks and dishonest allegations made against the Duchess by her estranged family members have caused too much embarrassment and damage to the reputation of the British royal family. As head of the institution, the Queen refuses to tolerate such disrespectful behavior towards the monarchy or associate the royal titles with such toxic public feuding. While Meghan will retain her position as wife of Prince Harry, she will no longer use her formal Duchess designation nor receive public funds associated with being a senior royal. This was a major bombshell that rocked the royal world. To have the Queen publicly rebuke a senior royal in this fashion was unheard of. Removing Meghan's title was a clear signal that the petty dramas of her extended American family would no longer be tolerated. Courtiers indicated this embarrassing saga had gone on long enough and serious action was needed to draw a line in the sand. But what does this mean for Meghan going forward? Without her Duchess title, many speculate her global prestige and influence has taken a significant hit. It will be interesting to see if she continues serving as a senior working royal without the formal royal designation or if this move effectively pushes her to fully private life. Some have also questioned if this could damage Harry and Meghan's recently launched Archwell Foundation, which was built around their image as international humanitarian leaders and senior royals. As for Meghan personally, sources say she was absolutely furious about the Queen's decision, which she views as unfairly punishing her for the actions of her estranged family members. An insider shared that Meghan feels deeply embarrassed and let down by how the decades-old Markle family drama has disrupted her new royal life. She had tried for so long to avoid engaging publicly, but it seems their toxic feuding has now had real-world consequences. Will this permanently damage her relationship with the Queen and fracture within the royal ranks? Only time will tell. On the other side of things, it's believed Samantha Markle was completely taken aback that her tabloid interview would elicit such a serious royal response. According to a relative, she insists she was just commenting on matters of public record and had no intention of disrespecting the Queen or monarchy as an institution. But given her history of making provocative claims about Meghan, it's hard to argue she didn't understand the sensitivity of the family business she was wading into. It seems like her long-running quest to publicly critique her half-sister may have finally backfired in an unexpected way. This has certainly been one of the biggest royal scandals of the past few years. The dysfunctional Markle family drama has been an ongoing saga, but it seems things have reached new heights, or rather new lows. Let me know your thoughts on this developing situation in the comments below. Does the Queen's decision seem justified?
How do you think this will impact Megan going forward? Be sure to like and subscribe to the Royal Tea channel for more exclusive royal news and analysis. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.